What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and this is talking about my number one general tip for attackers who are planning out their attack um, on a given base, any town hall level really. We see all these different phased attacks, queen charge this, Sui hero that, um, maybe a blimp with yetis involved, all these kinds of multi-stage attacks it's very important that they all build on themselves between stages of the attack. Coming in and supporting adjacent or next to each phase is another um, part of the attack that's going to help tank uh, defenses and also is going to benefit from the pathing that's been carved out by the previous stages of the attack. So that's kind of a lot of theory. Let's get into the specifics of this. It'll make a lot more sense as we break it down through some of these attacks. Starting off with a nice queen charge Lalo. This is actually one of our bases being attacked, but still wanted to show it. Um, one thing I always talk about, whenever you're playing a queen charge, whether it's a hybrid, whether it's a Lalo like this, any queen charge attack, you, ha you want to have a plan for your queen to survive the entire attack. And you can see there's all these defenses that have locked on to her, but that slammer comes in next to her and takes out these defenses so she doesn't take that damage. That's very important because otherwise she was getting low even with that rage, plus the eagle was locked on to her. It's important that slammer comes through, takes out like three defenses, then the slammer meets up with the Lalo that's gonna enter in and take out the town hall and push through the base. So really what we saw here, it happened very fast, but the plan built upon itself with all these different stages coming in um, adjacent to the previous stage. Um, and if you don't know what the word adjacent means, it means like next to, um, essentially. So the queen uh, comes in first, the slammer comes in, takes out the defenses that are targeting her. Also, that helps the slammer because all these archer towers are locked onto the queen and not the slammer. So there's also a benefit there. And then the slammer is going to meet up with the Lalo um, because that's where it can get even more value in addition to helping out the queen. So everything kind of builds on itself. That's the theme of this video. And um, that's what you're going to see in a lot of successful attacks. Um, and this is all done in the planning stage. It's, it's a very much... Um, as you're looking at the base, breaking it down, seeing what is going to work on each part of the base, you want to try to build the attack on itself um, in those different stages. Let us move on to some of our attacks. Uh, Close Ward didn't quite get the win here. Um, there was a matchup error, so some of these bases, I think at least one of them on each side was not hit um, to balance out the, uh, the matchup error. Anyway. Let's take a look at a Queen Charge Minor attack, very common. Uh, once again, Town Hall 12. We'll move down to Town Hall 11 as well in this video. So starting off with the Queen Charge, um, very standard, has the jump spell, and um, is setting the funnel on both sides, just with some baby dragons there. Go ahead and speed up a little bit as the Queen makes her way in. Headhunters in the CC, at least one of them, but the Queen switches over, takes it out no problem. Um, not a big deal if it's just one headhunter on the queen. Saves the poison uh, for the lava pups, which is a good idea. Um, so anyway, we will fast forward to right about there. And um, you can see the king being used on the other side to create that funnel. He's kind of independent, you know, he's not really necessarily a stage of the attack. He's just kind of creating a funnel that needs to be made. So uh, that wouldn't really apply to the theme of this video. But the important thing here is we have these miners coming in and they're starting to take out these expos that would otherwise be a problem for the queen. Now there is a healer switch here, which you'd think is a you know not good and maybe it's not, but um, because everything's kind of moving in in the same direction, the queen stays up a lot longer than you would think she does just because everything's focused on these miners for the most part, besides like this archer tower. Um, so she's really able to get good value there and to help out the miners because the miners help out her by tanking. Um, so oftentimes the queen charge, especially being a phase of the attack, you're going to want to get a lot of value at first with the queen charge. Then you're gonna want her to take a, the least amount of damage as possible by using the next phase of the attack to tank for her. 
because the queen is a very valuable tool to have up at the end of the attack for cleanup. And also, um, she's good at kind of taking out those last like ring of defenses if she takes them out one at a time, uh, especially if there's some healers left on her. She's a very good uh, troop for like wrapping up the remainder of the base if there's like a little bit left up. Uh, a few miners might have a lot more trouble with that. Um, take a look at a few Town Hall 11s here, uh, starting with 21. Totori Jesunias uh, attacking this base, and once again, Queen Charge Miners. We'll take a look at one more, because this is one of the biggest attacks that uh, this is so important for. And I think I even said this in a video uh, maybe a month ago or two, if my memory is, is on for that. Um, talking about kind of, maybe even longer than that, surprised I remember this, but talking about the keys to the Queen Charge Minor Attack, uh, or Queen Charge Hybrid, whatever, um, similar concepts. And one of the big keys is that the Queen, there's a, there's a plan for her. It's not just about getting that initial value, but there's a plan for her to continue the entire attack and just get a ton more value after the next stage has started, after the miners have been deployed. Um, what I like about this is the king kind of funnels the queen here, but also ends up funneling the miners too. Um, the siege barracks will play a part in that as well, but um, that was nice there. Queen takes out that golem in the CC, uh, siege barracks is dropped, and then what you're gonna see here is the miners are coming adjacent to the queen. Now obviously you don't want to bunch up too much, that can ruin an attack if the queen and everything is too bunched up. You want them still taking out different buildings, that's the most efficient way to do it, but you want them tanking for each other. They're close enough that they're kind of being able to soak up damage for each other and building, defensive buildings have to choose between either targeting the queen or the miners. And like I said, you want it to be the miners, not the queen that's targeted. So you can see here the miners actually push her down, uh, which is important. They were used early enough that they take out the buildings up at the top, pushing her down and around uh, to take out these expos, archer towers, just get a ton more value. So the queen really got a ton of value for this attack. Um, there was plenty of miners, but still, it's always good to have the queen uh, kind of making sure things work out here by staying up the entire time. Very nice for uh, a queen charge miner attack. By the way, take keep uh, an eye out which direction is it that way. Uh, in case something scary pops up into the window there. Someone said that in the comments a couple uh, videos back and uh, had me like a little on edge. So keep an eye out in that window um, in case like a face pops up into it. Let me know in the comments if it does um, so I can check it out. All right, one more attack to take a look at, number 22. And this one is going to be kind of a Sui hero a little bit of a zap action as well. A lot going on in this attack. Um, I'm kind of like on the fence about zapping air sweepers. I just, I have trouble wrapping my mind around investing two spell space to take out only an air sweeper, but I'm starting to come around to it a little bit. Uh, I typically am very irreverent of air sweepers. I, I don't think they do that much. Uh, at least from my perspective when I'm attacking. And maybe that's why I fail a lot of my air attacks um, more than ground attacks, it seems like. So I've seen a lot of people make it work, so I'm gonna say, you know, it, it's, a, it's a good strategy on some bases, especially where the air sweeper like this one would be covering so much uh, of the Lalo. Pretty much the entire Lalo would just be keep getting pushed back by that air sweeper. So I can see the value in it. But check this out, the Sui Hero sets up the Slammer. That's one of the biggest things that I like for any type of Lalo attack, whether it's a Queen Charge or Sui Hero like this, is the Slammer comes in because the King, Queen, whatever, carved out air defenses, so it's like an Inferno Tower, it's just a sitting duck waiting to get taken out by a Slammer. The Multis can't do anything against them. Great, great value. The Slammer gets all the way to the Eagle. A nice clone spell in there as well, even. Yeah, there's a clone spell used. Check that out. Um, talk about aggressive spell space there. Zaps and a clone. Uh, but looked like it worked out nicely. A dragon in there to help take out the Queen, um, which I don't think was even much of an issue. Then a couple of hastes. There's like some cloned level 9 balloons. Just, you know, everything 
worked out very, very nicely for this Lalo. And that last, last Lava Hound sitting nice and fat on that uh, air defense there. It'll cut across and I think explode eventually. But um, Warden's ability just crushed this base. And I think that that is one of the biggest keys. Um, in this video, we looked mostly at the Lalo and using that Slammer. Then having the Slammer meet up with the... Uh, meet up with your balloons eventually uh, as it supports your queen or whatever the case is and then we also saw the miners how important it is to have your queen up the entire attack on those those minor attacks so um definitely applies to other strategies as well look to use it let me know in the comments what other attack strategies might um might be compatible with this theory i think you're going to find pretty much every attack it's important to have everything kind of especially if it's in phases, not like a spam attack. Everything kind of moves in adjacently. That next stage takes over and helps support the last stage to keep your troops alive better. Instead of just attacking the base from like two different sides or something, uh, that's why you don't see that happen. Anyway, also thinking about streaming. I have to get like a, a time that, that works, a time where I'm kind of free. There's not a lot of distractions, but back in my mind, I will uh, consider that for some good wars if I can get the last hour sometimes. We'll see about that. Anyway, that'll do it. Thanks for watching and drop a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bisectatron out. Oh, also here's my end screen. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, Bisect, in the settings tab of your game and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time. Bisectatron out.